private cloud is really taking management to the next level. It's really about changing how you see things. It's getting the tools that you have and then integrating them together and then looking at it from a different view, from that application point of view. So you can get a greater level of control and that you can focus on different things instead of the day-to-day -day tasks that you normally do now. People always ask us, what's the difference between virtualization and private cloud? You know, for things like vMotion or live migration, moving a virtual machine from one server to another. I always tell people, we've done millions of those over time, everyone has, but all of those have been driven by somebody pressing a button or a computer looking at CPU and memory. When is it actually going to affect the applications or what the business is doing? If I can understand what the business needs and I have the power to do things like moving VMs around, how do I marry two of them together to make everything a lot better? That's really what the private cloud is about. It's not just more capabilities or just a little bit of automation. It's really the fusion of the two things that allows us to do a lot more. And if I can have systems that automatically monitor problems and then can understand and modify resources to fix the problem, then I don't have to do that all the time. And I can think about what's the next thing. How can I plan to grow more? How can I think about different scenarios? It's about kind of taking things to another level. I don't want to be the person being paged at 2 o'clock in the morning when there's something wrong with the server. I want to build rules that says, hey, if A, B, and C happen, do D, E, and F. Just let me know. And then I don't have to go in every single time. That's really what the private cloud brings to us. And in effect, that helps the business and helps the rest of our staff.